Hi, this is Ms. Dolores from Baldwin Borough Public Library. I'm here tonight to show you how to make your no sew scarf that you got in your take and make kits. Um, I want to thank WQED Education for providing all of the materials for the Be My Neighbor Day on today, January the 12th. Hopefully you were able to pick up a kit. It would contain two scarves for each child that was registered. One for the child to keep and one for the child to give. And this year we're going to be giving the scarves that are the second scarves that you'll be giving back to the library. We're gonna be giving those to the UPMC Children's Family Care Connection Center, along with um, a hat and a blanket, both um, handmade by community members. So we thank everybody for their generosity and making this day possible. So I'm gonna show you the supplies that you need and I'm gonna move this stuff aside. So you were given two scarves, probably in the colors of um, a blue that looks like this, then a light blue or a dark green. I have a plaid that was given to me by WQED that I'm going to use as my sample tonight to show you, but it's the exact same fleece that you have in your scarves. So the piece of scarf is already cut for you. If you would like to lay it flat, and see if all the sides line up and need to trim it. You will need um, a pair of scissors, preferably fabric scissors if you have them at home, and if not, any scissors that you have. You will need um, a ruler, something to mark your fabric. I just grabbed a Sharpie, but you could use a pencil or a pen. And then we gave you um, yarn already in your kit, and then there is a set of directions. So I'm gonna go over those directions with you one step at a time. So you will have your fabric and you can see this one is already done and you can see how we're going to make fringe on both sides of the bottom of our scarf. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like and I went ahead and pre-cut it but then I'm gonna use the blue to show you how I did that. So I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna get out the blue that you may have in your kit. And we're just gonna start with one side and then we're gonna grab our ruler and you, you're you gonna want your fringe to, well, it could be any length you want. If you want really long fringe, you can do that. I did mine, this right here is three and a half inches long. So my fringe is three and a half inches. So. I'm just gonna go with that on this one, but you are free to make it as long or as short as you want. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to measure and just make a quick dot on either side so you know where three and a half inches is and where you want to stop cutting. Then you want to get your ruler and you want to measure half inch increments and you can go up by where you're gonna stop and you're going to make a dot for every half inch. So just go along and make a small, a small marking so you will know where you're going to cut. You, it doesn't need to be real dark. So if you count your dots, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dots, which is what, if you cut them in half inch strips, that's how many you'll get. But feel free to cut them very thin or very thick, depending on how you would like your fringe. All right, then you're going to get your scissor. And you're going to lay it flat and you're just going to cut. I'll put this a little closer so you can see. So you're just going to cut up and meet your dot. And then you stop when you get to your dot. And then you go over and you just make another cut and meet your second dot. And you do that all the way across. So already I have, as you can see, I have three, I have three fringe strips cut already. And this is half inch thick. 
but if you would like yours real thin, you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cut the rest of my strips here. So I think this, the scarf making kit came just in time. We've been having some pretty cold weather and everyone could use a nice warm cozy scarf and we're so appreciative that you're going to be returning your second scarf to the library so that we can collect them and give them to families who can use them. All right so this is my fringe and then you're going to just go to the other side the other end of your scarf and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side and then you'll notice that they gave you some yarn so in the directions it tells you that you can make tiny slits above your fringe and add yarn and knot it so you can do that if you wanted i didn't want to do that with this scarf that i had i just wanted to leave it as is but I can show you something that you can do if you don't wanna make slits in your, in your um, scarf. So you can cut a piece of yarn. This is about eight or nine inches long. And you can take two of the pieces of fringe, just put it underneath. And you can actually knot two pieces of fringe together to give it a different look. So you can make a knot here. So we're just gonna knot this. And then it's going to hang down along with your fringe. And you can keep it longer if you want, but I'm gonna cut it even. So it just gives it a little bit different look when you wear your scarf. So instead of being being just hanging straight, or you can turn the you can turn these into bows. You can make a bow and put it up here, or you can add if you have beads at home and you want to add some beads to your scarf and then put yarn. You can do that as well. So I'm really excited to see what your designs will look like. If you have time and can take pictures of your finished product, we'd love to see them here on Facebook. You can put them in the comments so we can see, and we look forward to seeing everyone's and for you to come back and bring your design, um, design scarf, the second one back with you so that we can give it um, to UPMC. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. We'd be glad to answer. And we hope you and your family have fun and stay safe and warm um, this week and this winter. Thanks for tuning in.